the young budding writers to begin with short stories to usher in the brevity of writing one murakami says that his short stories are the food for his own novels in the most organic way today to enliven the afternoon with the magic and trivia of such short stories we have with us sharat radsi he is the founder and a writer of social media page uh, scribble thoughts he has also authored quite a many books like to the broken she fell in love with a best friend and uh, his titular scribble thoughts uh, well a quick shout out to scribble thoughts our event partner for aurora 2k21 on behalf of the kalamkar family and dindyal upadhyay college university of delhi i extend a warm welcome to mr raj so to mr raj and all other attendees i welcome you all on this beautifully random saturday afternoon uh, so i'd like uh, to ask mr raj to grace our screens for this afternoon convention meanwhile i'd also want you guys to keep yourselves muted and hopefully uh, your camera is switched on all your queries will be entertained at the end of the session through the chat box and a salutation in kalam uh, hind salam and kalam pranam so let's begin mr raj yes uh, hi kunal and that was a wonderful introduction uh i wanted to give an introduction like this but you took it away from me uh so yeah uh to start off with i first be presenting my screen and i'll be sharing uh what all we be doing today what are what all can be done today and then we we'll go from there on so give me one minute i'll be presenting my screen sure sure go on uh is it visible is my screen visible now yeah it's visible okay so uh to start off with i wanted to ask a few questions uh has anyone seen friends yeah yes. no okay so why do you think friends is that popular i mean out of so many series that we have watched and so many other series movies and everything why do you think that friends is so popular even now any guesses or anything as such yeah i think that uh, people can still relate to the cast and there's and the daily mishaps that happen with them that's why it is still popular yeah exactly and and, and we don't have to uh, stick to other episodes to carry on the series we can uh, take out any of uh, the episodes and see it any time connectivity is maintained throughout yeah exactly anyone else anyone else have anything to say like they're short sweet and you can just watch it any time yeah true okay perfect so uh i'll be sharing my uh, opinion on that and also to begin with first let me uh, show what all we'll be doing today in the session so the for the first 25 minutes we'll be discussing world stories and how to write story how uh, introduction to it and in the next 15 minutes we'll try writing a short story together and in the next 10 minutes we can discuss uh, when you're writing a story if you faced in any difficulties or your queries about stories we can discuss that too okay so uh so to start off with the reason why friends clicked so much as uh, whatever you people said was right we can still connect to it uh, you can watch any series and you can still relate to it and stuff like that so uh, for me uh, friends connected so much because the characters in friends uh, the characters of it were so nice that you know we sort of connected to it and even though it's a simple story the characters are the main thing in, in it and 
the way it is said, the comedy of it. So these are the things which you, you should keep in mind while writing a story. Uh, your characters, uh, their emotions and the con conversations between characters. And for example, let's suppose uh, you have a story in mind. OK, so you know everything that I should write this. This is how my story is going to be. And yeah, this is how it should end. But the important thing you should keep in mind is where do you start a story? I mean, you have the whole story in your mind. Uh, you have that, let, let's say, for example, let's take that you're writing a love story. So you know that, you know, these characters meet and they fall in love and eventually things happen, et cetera, et cetera. But where do you start with writing a story? So that is the main important thing. I mean, uh, should you start some somewhere from behind where uh, they are in a phase uh, of breaking apart or should you start from a point where they are just meeting each other? So it depends on your story. I mean, whatever you are uh, trying to describe or say depends on the story. So where to start is the most important thing in your story. And of course, the intensity of the characters, the intensity of the events, um, how you connect both the characters to each other. And also the description about the story. I mean, uh, you look at the little things in the story. I mean, when you describe the little things, people are able to, you know, uh, analyze and uh, what do they call? They're able to see the story they are able to visualize things. So when they are actually able to visualize, then your story becomes very important and so important. So these are the important components I felt that were important when you are writing a story. So to begin with, I mean, uh, I started thinking of what can I tell them? I mean, there's so much when when we are talking about writing a story. Uh, there's so much to it. There's how to develop characters. I mean, how to uh, develop those emotions. I mean, there's so much. It, so I thought, OK, uh, I start, start off with uh, explaining the basics about how to write a story, how to start off with that. Because uh, initially, a few years back, when I thought that I should write a story, I uh, used to begin with once upon a time. I mean, that's how we read stories, right? Whenever we read stories in our childhood, most of them used to begin with once upon a time. So I thought, OK, I'll start with once upon a time. And then I used to fail writing a story after that. After that. So I thought uh, basic on a basic on how to start with the story would be very good. So, so you might be asking, uh, everything is fine. The characters, conversations, emotions, everything has to be there. That's correct. But what do I write? I don't have any idea what to write about. You might be thinking, I don't have any idea, man. I don't know what to write. Uh, so to start off with, you can write literally anything. You can start with describing a character. Uh, you can give a, a few problems to, to the character. Uh, you can either start off with how a character is having a crush on someone. Uh, you can write some, you can write a story from your dream that you had or you can write anything. There are stories everywhere around you. I mean, your friend has a story. You have a story. Everyone around you has a story. So you can begin with anything. You can begin with describing anything. So, OK, you 
you started writing something you described something that is good but how to go on with that when you started with something how do you develop the story how do you go on with writing the story so i'll give you a few examples and maybe you can connect with it or maybe you can get an idea from it so let's take for an example uh the example i gave here the character has a crush on someone let's take this example okay so how to go on with writing that story which we had before so uh maybe we can create an instance where both the characters met or maybe we can create another character a friend who knows both of them or a common friend who knows both of them or you can literally uh create any instance where they meet or you can also write about uh how they were in school in, in childhood and how for the first time uh they meet and then they get to know that they were from the same school so that's how you develop develop a story i mean for example let's take this uh this person has a crush on someone here okay i'll develop a whole story for you people so uh maybe this uh guy has a crush on someone and then uh he goes on he tries to uh he tries to communicate with her but fails but then again uh there was his friend who uh, who came to pick him up from uh college and then maybe she sees his crush and gets to know that okay it's his, it's her friend so maybe you can connect uh this character and that character the girl and the boy with a friend so this friend introduces each other, both of them to each other and this way they meet okay this is done done so uh after meeting what happens then they start talking and how to create that bond between them how to uh, you know write something which creates a spark in between them so you can think of so many things at the same time you can uh, you can create an event where they end up sharing a uh, deepest secrets of each other you can create an event event where uh, they get to know each other and they fall in love with each other's little things so you can write all of this in the middle part and then coming to an end maybe uh, you can conclude saying that you know uh you can conclude saying that they both met each other they uh, spoke to each other and then you can conclude it as a one sided where only one person fell in love while the other didn't you can also make both the characters fall in love with each other and you can give a fairy tale ending or uh, you can also create complications between them where and where they should find each other even though there are complications between them you can create something where uh, they find back each other and they stick with each other so there are so many other ways to conclude your story so we heard about the starting part the middle part and the ending part but what is important here i mean uh you wrote this story that's fine but how do you think people can connect to it or how do you think people can imagine the story or how do you think that this story will click so it's the same again these are the things which uh your story depends on the characters of your story and the emotions that the two characters shared uh where the conversations interesting and 
where did the story start i mean was there any suspense did were you able to create a suspense so all of this and even if you look at uh, many movies movies are nothing but stories right so even if you look at many movies even though the story is same uh the stories of different movies are almost similar some movies click and some don't so have you ever wondered why why do some movies click and why do some don't uh even though they have the similar story even though they are almost similar any suggestions any uh anything you have to say guys uh am i clear am i audible yes yes are you able to follow me am i good yes okay so why do you think some stories click some movies click and some movies don't even though they have similar stories even though almost the almost every part of it is same probably the delif- the way they deliver the things the content the word usage the emotional release yes that's correct anyone else has to say something uh maybe because of the story and the plot okay so again let's suppose there are two movies and both of them almost have the same story but one clicks and one doesn't click what do you think the reason is Uh, like people could relate more to one story there are more relatable instances in a story and the other may be just a pretty fairy thing in fancy thing okay yeah that's good correct too and any the building of character uh yes dialogues used yes that's correct anything else you guys have to say anything else you think uh, the sequencing of the facts in that story yes and anything else okay so yeah that's correct i mean again uh, as uh, many of you have said it depends on the character development of both the stories even though they are similar what defines them is so even though both the movies are similar one clicks and one doesn't so the reasons might be the other movie might have a good character development um maybe the way it is said the way your story is written is very important so here maybe the way the story was said so uh for example maybe the story had some suspense from the beginning itself because of the way it was said and the intensity of the characters events the description of the characters so there are so many things that you know made the movie click and then make the other movie click so these are the important things which you should keep in mind while writing a story and let's go on so what is really important are these of course the story is important uh your story should act, should make sense at the end of the day uh you know even though you are just describing an event the event should mean something to someone the event should uh you know have an importance so uh not only sh- the story but the way you are narrating it is important and how the characters are connected to each other are important and the way you are des- describing the characteristics 
of the story is also important and yeah the meaning behind the story so uh by writing this story what did you mean to say is really important so for me personally uh whenever i want to write a whenever i want to you know describe something uh describe an idea or describe a theory let's say an idea so let's suppose i want to describe an idea i want to let my idea out to others the best way of describing your idea is by writing a story so your idea might be a very different concept it might uh it might not be the same for others i mean whatever concept or idea you believe in others might not believe in the same but whenever you write a story whenever your uh characters believe in that idea and to your characters you are dis- uh, you are presenting your idea there is a tendency that the people who didn't believe in your idea first might start believing in it so that's the reason why story is very important i mean you have to i mean maybe most of most of you have not written any story before but if you have not you should because it's really interesting and uh those who have already started with your story maybe you can uh try working out on uh character development or maybe how to improve your description of the story so yeah these are the things which uh, which are important in the story next so you might have a question to me right i mean i write stories but i want to be really good at it i want to be good at writing a story so the simple way to become good at writing is by writing more and reading even more so why i suggest reading is so when you read something when if you are let's for example take an example uh for example you want to write a short story so if you are reading more of short stories you will have an idea about how to start your story how to develop the character and how to describe it Be- you you will have an idea because you have read so much about it and even with me people will say that uh, i write really good love stories but i think i cannot write something where a uh, crime story or something of a suspense story or something and i ask myself why i mean love stories you can write very good you can describe everything but why can't you write uh, something of suspense so good so when i asked myself this question the only answer that i got was uh, i have been reading love stories since my childhood i mean i read a lot of them so maybe because i read lot i read lot of them maybe i also start started writing maybe i was able to write good because the reading part stayed with me so yeah you can follow this so uh many of you might say that okay you have said this you have said uh what to write how to write and stuff but many of you complain about readers blog uh sorry writers blog so you might ask what to do then i mean i did really have no idea about what to write so do you guys have any suggestions what do you think we should do if we are not able to write anything to not force it Look, many a times we just force it too much that it goes out of our hands okay correct anyone else we can go out and search for some ideas in our nature yeah we can do that too anything else guys any ideas any suggestions what should we do 
I think taking a break would be a good option. Yes, that would be a be a good option too. Yeah, like Kunal said, taking a break and reading other great poets or uh, great stories so that you can get inspired. Uh, yes, that's correct too. Come on, guys! I want more people to respond. Any anything? Nothing is right or wrong. Nothing is wrong. Everything is right. So come on, come up with suggestions, ideas. um like uh, if we are like feeling like we are not getting our ideas from our life story so we can uh, talk to more people discuss their problems their stories and then we can come up with something really new yes we can do that too or maybe just we can um uh, you know like wander out in the nature and we can find something sometimes it happens uh yes and you then you get uh, a story from there correct have a long walk on path your city or anywhere like that or any traveling place we can visit so okay. mm-hmm. that's a good idea too uh, your voice is breaking okay let me see if i have anything in the chat box because i presented the screen i am not able to view the chat box because of its game it yeah priyanka says that one should relax and meditate okay taking a nap helps uh they relax and meditate wow you people are coming up with good suggestions i mean uh i didn't try all of this but definitely i'll give it a try these are pretty good options anything else anyone else do you have any suggestion idea yeah i think as, as i said before that we should not force it i mean we force it we think that it's a problem just let it be for some time it will come back automatically yes correct that's correct sneha if there is any one with think is similar to the character version ask them uh, do in a particular situation wow yes we can do this Yes, Kanchan, we can do this too. Ruby says to see other people because every face has its own story. Yeah, Ruby, that's correct. But okay, yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Sagam so, says that there is an app called uh, Scribbler where you have to write continuously, and if you See is all your light ups. So I wrote continuously. Okay, wow, that's nice, Sagam. Okay. Any more uh, ideas, guys? The people who didn't respond. Maybe you can put it in chat box too. or people who already responded if you have a different idea you can share it too with us okay no one okay so uh whatever you people said uh is absolutely correct i mean everyone has their own ways of uh getting done with something i mean uh everyone has a different ways of coping up with something i mean uh for someone taking a nap might help uh for someone going out uh in the park might help i mean so many things can help to so many different people and uh what can what can be a help to you might not be helpful for others as well so i'll be sharing how i overcome writer's block okay so this might not be applicable to everyone this might not 
work for everyone but it works most of the times for me uh whenever i want to write a story so uh desperately and i just don't know what to write i do this okay so uh first what i do is uh i want to write a story and i don't know the fa- first part the second part or the third part i don't know anything i don't know how i, I how i should develop the characters i don't know uh, where should i begin my story i don't know anything literally i don't literally nothing so then what i do is uh, first i sit down down and i start with uh, describing anything uh, i i just think of writing one paragraph okay and then i i think of describing a character or a uh, a scene in the story uh, maybe i can start with okay for example uh, suppose i had to write a story right now okay and i don't know anything so and so i don't know anything so what i do is i start thinking randomly uh, and then i start writing okay i'll give an example okay so i might th- i might start writing with uh it so this is not true okay this this i'm just giving for an example this is not true uh so i might start writing um he should have had a very tough day today uh even though he had a workshop with people his mind was with her so i might start with this okay so i might start by describing how sharad is missing someone and uh, how even though he is busy with some work his mind is still with someone else and then uh, i might write a few paragraphs of, about describing uh, sharad's character and how he misses someone okay so this is my first paragraph So, so you can write a paragraph of anything you feel like writing but make sure it's a, there's a little suspense in it so when i'm telling that uh, shadow is missing someone i'm creating a suspense here who is he missing is it a girl or a boy i mean so i'm creating a some sort of suspense here right and then after you are done with the paragraph uh just leave it away and make it part 1 part 1 of your story so second one second uh, this is the first day okay this is what i do f- in the first day and literally this is what i do when i'm writing a story for the page as well for the scribble thoughts page when i want to write a story when uh, everyone is asking me to write a story and i don't have anything in my mind i do this okay so uh, i write a paragraph uh, i write describing a character's pain or how the character misses someone and i create a little suspense in there and then i name it as part 1 and leave it so the next day uh, i do the same i add another paragraph to it uh, again uh, i keep a suspense to it and i leave it even for the second day so the same way i keep writing it uh, for the for three or four days i just keep continuing the part before for example i wrote part 1 then i can continue it with, with part 2 and then with part 3 so when you when you do this what happens is when you are done with three or four parts on the fourth part you will have an idea about okay my story has come till here and maybe i should uh, the next two parts i should maybe write it like this or like this or maybe uh, i should give it like a end like this or like this and repeat now by the end of writing three or four parts you'll be clear about uh, where to end the story how to start writing with the story and there you are not clear 
just keep adding some parts to it i mean one paragraph two paragraphs but 100 words or 150 words when i say paragraph i mean 100 words or 150 words and then uh when i repeat and i, I have an idea this way i complete my story so this is how i overcome writer's block when i think that literally i have nothing to uh, write so what do you guys think was this helpful or whether this work or do you think it won't work what do you guys think i think we'll have to experiment and see because everyone's minds are different so mm. i'll try it i'll surely try it that's nice man so uh this might again not work for everyone but it works for me uh for the but you should be regular okay if you are writing something today only if you are writing 100 words or 150 words today you should definitely write tomorrow you can't be like okay today i write this and again after one week i start writing you can't be like that you you should be regular if you are writing like this if till you finish your story you should be regular to it and then after four or five days you'll be done with the story you'll have an idea about it so uh is learning fun or am i being boring or is it okay not at all it's very interesting and You're it's making a lot of sense too. and it's interactive too uh thank you sneha it means a lot and anyone else has something to say you have any queries or uh anything else so uh should we start accepting questions yes kunal we can do that sure guys uh, feel free to use the chat box for your questions i guess people are too wrapped in this they are using it the chat box for saying how amazing this workshop is literally thank you guys it's me it means a lot to me so if you don't have any questions uh what we can do is only if you guys are interested and if you want to do this uh what we can do is i want you all to write part one of the story i mean maybe you don't have anything in in your mind right now but come up with anything part one of the story come up with a suspense uh give your character give your character description come up with a suspense and then we'll see how it goes so do you want to do this uh so we have a little suggestion from disha in the chat box where he, uh, she says that please give some ideas to make a story interesting okay so uh this show what we'll do is uh maybe we'll take 10 minutes uh we'll all write something and come up and then in the end uh when you were writing a story when you were writing a story for this 5 to 10 minutes if you had any difficulties writing the story or uh if you weren't able to write something maybe then i definitely answer to this question uh, disha but maybe we can uh, you know start writing something and then uh, we can all come back and discuss for the last 10 minutes okay is that fine disha that will do i guess yeah okay so uh, what are the us i i mean uh, i know most of them lack motivation here if it's an online workshop and i'm asking you just to write something randomly with a suspense for and i'm only giving you 15 minutes to write it but uh, to motivate you what i can do is uh, you can write a story you can write part one of it and if i find it pretty interesting if i uh, think we can work it out uh, 
maybe what i can do is we can write the whole story i can make you write the whole story and then i'll be posting it on scribble thoughts or maybe you can write it just for yourself maybe you can write it just for yourself to uh, see if you are good adult or if you had any any difficulties or if you want me to help you i can have help, help you with that too okay so we will do this only if you guys are okay with this or else we can uh, do something else guys i hope we should do this it sounds pretty interesting yeah we can okay uh so we'll take 15 minutes or 10 10 to 15 minutes and if you are able to write the whole story then do it but if you are not able to do the whole thing write just 100 to 150 words write part one of it okay and make sure there's a suspense in it and i can give you a form where you can you know just drop in your writing after you're done and don't think that i'm not be writing with you people if you want even i write with you people i can share my screen while i'm writing okay and i'm doing this because uh, i want you people to know where you're facing a difficulty where uh, you think you should improve and also it's a good chance for you to you know for your story to be published on scribble thoughts so it will be really good so i'll be sharing a form now and you can submit your 100 to 150 words with a suspense to this form okay are you able to open the ring guys yeah it's accessible okay so uh should we take 10 minutes or 15 minutes which one would be fine okay 15 minutes says pallavi fine then 15 minutes and even i will write with you guys uh if you want i can share the screen for you while i'm writing or i can stop sharing my screen and write something and then uh, share the screen with the responses and also there might be some people who just want to write but uh, they want to keep it with themselves and they don't want to share it with others so in that case uh, when you are writing uh, when you are sending the submission or when you are uh, writing in the form mention that you don't want to share it share it with everyone only i will say it and i'll give you feedback about it okay everyone are too busy writing i guess already <laughs> mr raj i would guess it would be great if you could actually share your screen while you write it would be actually nice to see you writing okay kunal i do that fine then let's start it's 3:30 uh we we'll all be back at uh, 3:45 we we'll write something and it doesn't have to be perfect okay literally anything and even my writing would wouldn't be perfect so literally anything just feel very free i encourage yeah. all of you guys to actually write it's a great thing to do from a pro person what's the deadline to submit our entries uh shruti we submit it by uh, 345 and if you want you can just write 100 words okay that's not a problem
so i'm muting my mic if you guys have any queries or anything to say uh either speak or drop it in the chat box i'll be checking that too okay now even in 2 minutes i'll also start writing with you guys
so guys uh, i'm reading a few responses okay and as you submit you also uh, respond to the form and after i read a few uh, parts or stories or part 1 anything then we can discuss for a few minutes about uh, where was the difficulty that we felt or we can discuss what can be written in the part 2 so yeah
okay so uh, i read a few stories and it was nice so uh, did you uh, guys have any difficulties while writing something or do you have any queries so in the chat box we have a question from kanchan ruela ps email she says that sir if i am writing a romantic comedy story but then there is a very sad and heartbreaking situation then how can i write it that it doesn't look odd okay Hello, am I audible? Yes, yes, you are audible. Uh, sorry, I the electricity was off, so I joined again. Hmm. So, so to answer the question, uh, when you are writing comedy with a sad story, uh, there's nothing like comedy and the sad. a part of the story would be uh, going in the same way for example let's take an example where uh, the character am i audible yes you 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 audible yeah so let's say that the character um, maybe what you can do is you can make the character funny uh, you can make the character where he or she uh, reacts in a funny way with everyone and maybe you can describe that character having a heartbreak so here how it happens is uh, initially when you are describing the character or you are describing the character's converse conversations with everyone you can um, may you can make the comedy part there and later uh when you are describing the heartbreak of the character or the or any issues of the character you can have the sad part there so what happens is you are uh, not not even missing the comedy part of it and you're not even missing the sad part of it so uh, does it answer the question kanchan uh, do you think uh, it answered the question or do you want me to give you any other suggestions or okay so i was correct right uh, do you think i was wrong or something i mean uh, so you got my point right kanchan yes okay so uh anyone else also has any queries
Mr. Raj, should we go back to Disha's question? Uh, she had asked about how to make a story interesting. Yes, yes. Uh, we we will get back there. So uh, initially, I had mentioned right uh, the character shakes of the story. So uh, to answer your question, Disha, the way we can make a story interesting is uh, first your characters have to be really good. So I'll answer my question with taking Friends, the series of Friends, as an example. Okay. So uh, for example, in Friends, uh, if you see the characters are really very nice, which makes it interesting. and the comedy timing of it is very nice which makes the story interesting and also the plot which you have also can make your story interesting and also it, uh, and the flow of the story i mean uh, it it's also there right some stories have a dull flow and some when you sh- start reading it you are excited to know more and more about the story so everything of this depends on how interesting the audience would find your story and again how do you do this i i mean there's so much to this uh you have to know how to develop a good character uh so one thing you can do is you can uh when you are writing something you can think uh if i was the reader of this if i was a reader of whatever i'm writing right now would i find this interesting if yes then you are writing it in, in an interesting way if no then maybe you can work on the characters or the conversations between between the characters or the uh, description of your story or you, on the plot so yes that answers your question disha thank you and also uh, i thought that maybe uh, i also thought that maybe from uh, the ones who sent in submissions maybe i can uh, pick any ones writing or the paragraph and write it myself i mean so maybe i thought to show the difference between you know um, how to write it better or how to write it in a more connecting way but then i think we don't have much time left it's already time up so maybe what i can do is as i had promised that uh, i'll be reading all the uh, all the submissions which you sent and if i find it interesting i post it so what i'll do is i'll uh, read all of them whichever you people sent to me and if i find anything interesting in them uh, i'll also pick and pick some some in them if i find them interesting and i'll ping you and also uh, if you want to give me any feedback on them if you want me to give you any feedback on what you have written i can also do that you can uh, contact me i am there in the whatsapp group which was created and also wait i present my screen i had a few, few more slides left i guess and also um, here we are at the end uh, you can always submit your works at scribbled t at the red gmail dot com. Not regarding the workshop, but anything. If you write, if you have written, or um, if you want it to be posted on the scribbled thoughts page, you can send your submissions here. And also, if you want to look at my works, if you uh, if you want to know how I write, what I have written, what is it about. you can check my name on the amazon 
page and also this is about my new book which is re releasing on the 14th of feb so yeah that's from my side for today uh if you have any questions you can ask or if you have any queries questions anything your feedback as well if you think i should improve in something or if you think i didn't cover any part in this anything literally anything if you have anything you can uh type in the chat box or you can ask me uh before we infer i guess i would ask that which is that story that one story maybe a book or a movie which you think is your standard like your pro standard so uh kunal for me uh have always been you know interested in writing love stories or reading about them so uh romance or love stories is my genre so for me in the books that i have read uh i and it's my personal opinion okay and there's nothing like uh it should be the same for everyone so for me uh more than indian authors i uh, enjoy reading works of uh, other authors because uh, in indian authors you i don't find that description deep description of something of a character or the whole setting of it the story i don't find any description of it but the story which i uh, felt which was written very nice was the notebook written by uh, nicola sparks so in that uh, initial 20 30 pages you won't find it in, uh, that much interesting because there's a lot of description there but after that uh, the way the emotion of love was described and the way the characters were described everything was really good there so that was the book i felt was my standard and i feel that i am not there yet i i mean to reach that standard uh it takes a lot of time and even uh i mean it's been the years for me since i started writing and even now i feel that i am not so good at it i mean but what i feel is i have become better at it uh compared to the last two or three years what i had written back then and what i am writing now there's a lot of di difference from then and now so it's the same i mean your writing doesn't have to be very perfect very good you can start with the basic your writing just has has to describe the emotion that's it and then uh, slowly when you start writing for a few months for a few few weeks months slowly everything comes up uh, the story plot development characters everything just happens so uh, i went too far but kuna to answer your question the notebook was my yeah. favorite yeah yeah that was too great i guess nicholas parks is kind of a uh, standard for most of us mm, so even you read nicholas parks kuna i have read the notebook too okay yeah i mean for me uh, he i like his work because he describes the emotion of love very good i mean there are indian authors like uh, dojoy datta ravinder singh uh, and other authors san uh, sandeep uh, and all but for me that author uh, his work the way he describes the emotion of love is what i like and that's the reason why i like his works yeah that was great so we'll be moving towards the conclusion of this uh, workshop uh, i guess this workshop would go down as a great once upon a time like we started Uh, we started on a very nice note of friends i mean that was great to grasp the notice of our attendees then we had to make myriads out of a possible love story how to make it um, appealing definitive for our audience 
it's important we read and write more to get going for becoming great at spinning yarns and i extend my heartiest gratitude on behalf of our kalamkar family to mr raj for the super delightful and enlightening afternoon convention uh, i'd like to bring anuj on our screen our head of operations uh, to deliver the vote of thanks anuj kunal am i audible yeah yeah you're fine you're audible please go okay so good evening i anuj head of operations of kalamkar extend my sincere gratitude on behalf of kalamkar fraternity to mr sharad who took out valuable time from his schedule and addressed us thank you for telling us the basics of short story and making this workshop interesting and interactive so we are grateful to you and scribble thoughts for this wonderful session looking forward to collaborate in future thank you so much uh welcome anuj and uh i mean it's really very good to be here to uh interact with everyone uh to know your opinions your perspectives of writing a story of uh knowing what do you think makes a story appealing or interesting and it really feels nice to have a good audience good number of audience and everyone is listening is sharing the feedback and you know uh i from the team of scribble thoughts for, thank each one of you from the kalamkar family for inviting us here for conducting this workshop and i hope we collaborate more and i hope you uh conduct more events like this like this and also i wish that all your other events be a great success for now and in the future so thank you so much sir thank you we look forward to scribble thoughts in future also uh, thank you attendees for gracing this afternoon like a warm january sun uh, i'd urge that before you wrap up for today do fill in the feedback forms the link for the same has been dropped in the chat box and the feedback forms feedback forms will ensure you your certificates of participation so it's mandatory to fill the forms and as soon as you do that you can feel free to leave the meeting too thank you sharad thank you so much